We're going to switch back to New Orleans, uh, as said uh, the first story that today is 9-11, welcoming uh, Mr. David Duke. Hopefully, uh, I do have you. You can hear me. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. Can you All hear right, me? All right, welcome. Fine? Welcome to the program. Um, you have uh, said that 9-11 is an inside job. What are the main points that you have found that have pointed to it being an inside job? Well, I haven't used that exact terminology inside job. Certainly a lot of people have said that. I have said that there's fairly fingerprints all over the whole 9-11 aspect. Uh, we know the DEA uh, actually had reports filed that there were Israeli agents, Mossad agents, on the same street as Mohammed Atta, the alleged hijacker. Uh, we know that they were taking their conversation, and there's a huge amount of evidence it indicates that Israel, at the very least, knew what was going on way ahead of time. It did not warn the United States of America, which obviously constitutes a tremendous treachery against our country. And Israel has a long record of terrorism against America. In fact, uh, we, we can talk about the Levant affair. The Israeli government admitted to blowing up American installations in Egypt, trying to get us into a war against Egypt, which had been catastrophic for America and American interests and American lives as well as Egyptians and other people in the world. We know that the Liberty attack, the USS attack, attack, attack on the USS Liberty in the 67 war, our Secretary of State at the time, Dean Rusk, very fine gentleman, as well as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the American military, Admiral Thomas Moore, both that and said the very dying day that Israel knew exactly what they were doing in attacking the liberty. It was a deliberate attack. That's the Secretary of State of the United States. And, of course, we had the treachery in the Jonathan Pollard case. And I think there's a lot of reasons that Israel wanted 9-11 to happen. Okay, there's well, let me, just let me just jump in here, Mr. David Duke. So uh, when you're alluding yep. to the possibility of it being an inside job, are, are you saying an inside job as far as officials within the United States? Or are you saying uh, that uh, it's possible that the Israelis uh, have been behind it uh, with uh, American officials knowing about it? If you could expand on that a little bit for me, sir. Well, first off, you know, I don't, you know, it's there's a lot of opinions. I don't think it's very hard to know the answer. You have a surreptitious, covert operation in the United States, and you had massive Israeli spying in the United States of America. And so, just to say that we know how have all the answers, or we know all the facts of what happened and what didn't happen, it's hard to do that. As an historian, as a man with a PhD in history, I want to go on hard, cold facts. And the hard, cold facts that we have, without any dispute is the fact that five Israelis were arrested in New York, Mossad agents, uh, filming and documenting the attack. They were cheering the attack, according to all the witnesses involved. Uh, they were absolutely, certainly Mossad agents. They failed lie detector tests. We know that Israeli agents were in the same street as Mohammed Atta. We have uh, lots of evidence that Israel had a huge spy operation going on in the United States at this time. And we also know that Israel certainly had a lot to gain from these attacks. And in fact, because of these attacks, we had greater presence of America in the Middle East. We had more support going to Israel. We had a clamp down of the opposition in this country to the Israeli policies. And we also, the people against the Israeli policies, and we also had the Iraq war, which was taking out Israel's enemy at the time, Saddam Hussein. Uh, but this, is, this is an old, old story with Israel in this country. We also knew that Israel was possibly facing war crimes trials in Europe with Ariel Sharon at the time, and we had the United Nations pointing out that Israel was a racist state. So all these things were going on. 9-11 was the Israeli anecdote to that. And we, we don't have all the facts and figures of the direct involvement in the attack itself, but we do have lots of fingerprints of the Israelis all over the situation, covering it up, and also not informing America of this impending disaster. Well, uh, now, uh, Mr. Duke, of course, in any crime, uh, um, the first thing that's looked at, looked at, at the crime is uh, who benefited the most from this uh, situation taking place. Do you feel that uh, with the situation that happened on 9-11 that the Israelis benefited the most from what has happened? Or your take, please. 
Well, obviously, they benefited uh, tremendously from the attack. It, it really cut off the huge growing criticism of Israel. There were more and more nations that were recognizing the Palestinian state. Uh, everything got short-circuited. And, uh, and also, I'll tell you this, I believe this, that, that whoever did the attack, and there's a lot, there is evidence that there was certainly inside information by some people in government. There is certainly suggestions of that. There is a lot of that. There's a lot of questions about the, the uh, fall of the buildings and so forth. But one thing's for certain. If, if, it is, if it is as the government says, that these Arab uh, terrorists came into the United States and threw these planes into the buildings and, and caused this tremendous carnage, uh, this certainly would have been a direct result of the American policy in the Middle East which has not only hurt the American people's interests, but really obviously hurt the whole world and, and hurt the people, the interests of those countries. Uh, America has earned hatred in these matters because of our support of the Zion. State Israel was formed by terrorism, by murder, by mass murder, terrorizing and forcing the people out, ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians, not even letting people go back home after they've been kicked out of their homes and they're from, for many, many 2,000 years, thousands, hundreds of generations. It's just amazing to think about the crimes of Israel and the fact that the United States has supported Israel on this thing. This is the cost of our Israeli policy, and okay. I don't think it's been in the interest of the United States to support Israel in any way. And certainly it's not in the interest. And, and now we're, obviously, it's very scary to think that America is uh, thinking about getting involved in an attack on Iran. That would be catastrophic for your country catastrophic for our country, catastrophic for the world. It's only the Jewish extremists and the warmongers who want this kind of, uh, this kind of war. Okay, well, good, Mr. Duke, just about know. out of time, uh, last question. How has your country, how has the United States changed? How has 9-11 affected the United States itself? Well, certainly America is not as, as free a country as it once was. 9-11 uh, has quieted a lot of opposition. It's quieted a lot of dissent in the United States of America. It's led us into these wars. We have, we've had 400,000 Americans who had you know, traumatic brain injuries. We, had a million, we have a million Iraqis dead in the war. We're getting involved in the Syria conflict. We shouldn't be involved there. We're, we're fomenting a civil war, which would be damage, damaging to the Syrians. We're fomenting, I, I think, unfortunately, terrorism in terms of Iran. It's not good for America, it's not good for your country, and it's not good for the world. If there's a, a war coming up, it'll be disastrous to all of us, and we've got to fight about that. For people who want more documentation on 9-11, I have many articles about it and lots of documentation, or any of these other issues, they can go to davidduke.com. That's davidduke.com on the Internet, and I also have a daily radio show that reaches around the world, including into Iran, throughout the Middle East, all over the world. And, uh, and, I'm, and I have, of course, many videos available on these subjects, including, you know, No War for Israel and Iran, which is a very important video. Okay. And I have a, a videos off, of course, on the whole war in Iraq and, and how the Zionists orchestrated and created this war, the media, the government, and international finance. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Member of the House of Representatives of Louisiana, Mr. David Duke. Well, remaining in the U.S. now, turning to the city of Chicago. Where